I'm Dr Genevieve Milnes from Psychology Australia. In this session I will be talking about avoidant personality disorder. Avoidant personality disorder is a pattern of feeling socially inadequate in a wide variety of contexts. So that people may become hypersensitive to any negative evaluation and then become more and more inhibited. The pattern usually begins in early adulthood but the diagnosis should be used with caution for children and adolescents as well as people from culturally different backgrounds. Sometimes this disorder starts out as common childhood shyness but people with this condition get worse rather than better as they grow up instead of the more normal pattern of losing shyness as they get older. Avoidant personality disorder is estimated to affect about 1% of the general population. People with personality avoidant disorder will avoid activities that involve contact with other people because they fear any possibility of criticism, disapproval or rejection. So they avoid getting involved with people unless they are sure that they will be accepted and liked. Even within close relationships they will hold themselves back because of their fears. They view themselves as socially inept and inferior and so will not take any risk in engaging in new activities or meeting new people. They spend a lot of time thinking about criticisms and possibilities of rejection. Let's look at a real example of how this plays out. Jill of course not her real name, was brought to me by her partner for psychological treatment. Her partner said that she was so afraid of making a fool of herself in public that she didn't want to go out at all and preferred to stay at home all of the time. Even when there were possibilities of going to fun events, Jill still wanted to stay home. Her partner said that Jill had very few friends. In fact, he couldn't think of any at all. This was made worse because they had recently moved to the city from another state and so Jill's isolation became even more acute. Her partner said that she was reserved even with him and was terrified of looking foolish. She hated any statement that could be construed negatively and it had reached the stage where her fear of criticism was affecting their relationship. Jill stated that she had always been shy but felt as if things were getting worse because now she didn't want to meet anyone new at all, even though she was desperately lonely. Through psychological treatment, she was able to resolve some of her feelings of inadequacy and develop a new confidence. At the last session, she reported that she had made some good friends and had started to go out regularly with her partner. As always, if you think you or someone you care about may be suffering from avoidant personality disorder, then I recommend you have a chat with a psychologist because professional help is available. Thank you for listening. Remember, there's lots of free, helpful information and a range of online tests at the Psychology Australia website.